and this giant, Betelgeuse. The brightest, biggest star we've seen so far. It's got to be at least 600 times wider than our own sun. But this, it's not a star. Not a planet. Not like anything we've ever seen. A ghostly spectre, more than 1300 light years from Earth. Orion's dark cloud. Dust and gas, so dense it's shrouding us, shutting us off from the universe outside. There, deep inside, a ball of light, pulling the dust and gas towards it, heating up, merging into a ball of burning hot gas. Like a star, like our sun, in miniature. It's millions of degrees inside it. So hot, it's beginning to trigger nuclear reactions. The kind that keep our sun shining. Making energy, radiation, light. A star is being born. Or rather, stars. Orion's dark cloud is a vast star factory. We're witnessing the birth of the future universe. We've come to expect hostile horrors, but we're discovering one of the universe's greatest creative wonders. Star birth. Perhaps we spoke too soon. Jets of gas, exploding outwards at 200,000 kilometers an hour. Blasting dust and gas out for millions of kilometers. It's unbelievably violent, but look at the results. It's beyond words. Nebula, vast glowing clouds of gas hanging in space. With no wind out here, they'll take thousands of years to disperse. They seem to be forming a vast stellar sculpture. It makes you realize nature is more than a scientist, an engineer. It's an artist on the grandest of scales. We've seen some strange sights, but this is a masterpiece. A giant horse's head rearing up in space. Stars are born. Grow up, and then, then what? Do they die? Do they slip quietly into the night, or go out with a bang? 